Hello everyone. Um, this is a quick um, uh, tip about how to use uh, XPath. XPath is um, short for XML path. It's a query language to find uh, nodes within an XML or HTML document. This is how we uh, find information when we are web scraping, basically. Um, it has so many other um, um, usages, but this is what I'm going to um, uh, concentrate on right now. So I'm um, starting by importing uh, requests and HTML from LXML uh, library, which uh, I will uh, be using for parsing uh, documents and uh, XPath implementation. So uh, in here, I have a um, cell with the cell magic to tell the cell this is an HTML um, code cell. I have an HTML tag, a body tag. Oh, it didn't close the body tag. Uh, that's embarrassing. Um, okay. Um, I have a body tag. I have uh, a header in here, H1. Then I have a, an, an unsorted list with three items telling you which are my favorite Python libraries. So uh, w once this is rendered, it looks like this. Uh, favorite Python libraries, and I have three items in here. So uh, let's say I want to get the um, title, the text and the title, basically. Um, to do that, uh, in here I'm just um, basically getting the code from this cell and just parsing the parts which are not important um, just to get to this string out, which is just... I could have just copied this code and pasted it here, but uh, it's uh, just uh, another way to um, get the code from the previous cell. Um, so I have uh, my HTML code and I parsed it using um, HTML from string. So now I have an uh, LXML um, node with uh, representing this document. So how can I get the title using XPath? Um, you can use XPath in several ways. You can just list the path to your node. So you can say, for example, HTML body H1. And you can separate them with forward slashes. Make sure you add the forward slash in the beginning if, you are, um, if you're in the root document. Uh, so you have to put uh, forward slash in the beginning. Uh, XPath always returns uh, lists. So this is why I'm selecting uh, the first item in that list. So I'm going HTML body H1, uh, and it's returning an element, um, which is not exactly what I want. I want the text inside that element. So I could go um, uh, to that element and use the text, the, um, text uh, variable, or I could use the text function inside my XPath. So in here I'm going HTML body um, H1, then I'm using the text function, and that returns the text inside that tag working with multiple items so let's say um, i want to read my favorite libraries from uh, this uh, document um, i could go html body ul li which is basically html body ul li and because i have three items in here it's going to return a list with three items so we can Look in here and we'll see that it returned three elements. Uh, if I add um, text function to the end of that, um, it will return um, my the text inside these um, um, list items. Uh, you can use um, um, a tag selector without path. So if you use a double forward slash, it will select every um, a tag that matches uh, li in this document lucky f lucky for us in this case i have only um, the items that i'm interested in uh, using the uh, li tag so i can do uh, use a double uh, forward slash then i can use the text function and that returns my three um, items this is what you are going to end up using mostly in production because Websites change their um, design all the time, and you have to uh, be able to um, find your data easily without um, sticking to some path. 
uh, anyway um, selecting one result so let's say I want only to read my favorite library I don't want to read all three uh, so I can use an um, index selector so in, uh, at the end of uh, my um, um, query I'm using one because this is uh, an index that starts from one so if I put zero that's not gonna work so it's uh, one two three for numpy pandas and requests uh, then I'm using my um, text uh, function so make sure you always use your index at the end of your um, tag selection um, part of your query um, and here I have uh, a more uh, complicated website with two h tags so i have two uh, headers one telling us about my favorite python libraries and the other one telling us about my favorite js libraries uh, you can see i have um, uls uh, and i have li tags uh, ins uh, inside of that and they contain anchors with um, the name of the library and the link to the website so this is going to be more interesting to uh, use XPath with. So the first thing I'm just parsing this um, um, uh, uh, code or HTML code into um, um, uh, LXML uh, node document uh, or, uh, or node basically. Um, so the first thing I want to uh, do is a um, I want to select the first. Uh, header which is this one uh, if you notice in here my first header uses class text muted and my second one use, uh, uses class um, class uh, text successful or success so um, to select my h1 I'm gonna t uh, tell my path in here go to HTML body h1 where it has an attribute called class equals text muted then get the text uh, um, uh, function uh, from that so it returns favorite python libraries um, you can use the contains function this is when you want to read part of uh, if you have multiple classes so um, in here i could uh, i want to read the list of the my favorite python libraries and i have um, I have a UL tag in here, but I have a second UL tag in here. They are using different classes. I could copy this whole class until I go and find the UL that has all of this. But um, I just want to tell it go and find any UL uh, tag that has nav uh, stacked. In here, uh, in this example, I have only this UL using uh, nav stacked. So. Uh, and here I'm telling it instead of um, at class equals I'm using the contains function contains function takes um, two parameters the first one is where to look and what to look for um, so I'm telling it look in class and find nav stacked then give me li a the anchor inside of that li and read the text um, with the text function so it returns my three favorite libraries uh, I could read also attributes. So um, in here, um, the um, href uh, attribute uh, inside my anchor has the um, URL to uh, this uh, to my favorite libraries. So to read these URLs, uh, I can use instead of text, I could use at href, which is um, the attribute that stores the link inside an anchor tag. So uh, when I run this, you can see it returned my three um, URLs. A real-world example, uh, I'm looking at uh, the Wikipedia page in here. And uh, on the Wikipedia page, you will notice that there are some languages that have more than one million articles. Um, I'm using in here Firefox, but um, um, Chrome is going to be very similar. Uh, to know where to look, I usually you'll have to right click inspect element. So I'm looking at uh, this um, this link uh, for Dutch. This link is 
in an li and their ul and none of these have like classes or anything unique to them to easily identify them but if we look back there is um, a div um, tag in here that encapsulate all of this so if i collapse this you can see that this div uh, this div has um, a very special class the problem is it exists in two of them so this one um, this one basically uh, which is um, the languages with the million plus articles and this one with the languages with hundred thousand plus articles they both have the same um, uh, they both have the same um, uh, class uh, basically so uh, if I go back to my example uh, I'm reading um, uh, Wikipedia page instead of uh, response the text I'm using content because uh, I need a special parser for uh, Unicode um, and once I have uh, this uh, document I'm looking for all divs within the document that have this special class then I'm selecting the first one because there are two in uh, this um, document that have this uh, class the ones with uh, million plus and the one with hundred thousand plus then I'm going to ULLIA anchor then I'm finally reading the text inside of them and um, here are the languages with uh, one million plus um, articles in them from Wikipedia I hope this is uh, clear and if you have any questions feel free to uh, post them in the comment section below and uh, this um, this notebook will be available you know, available on uh, GitHub. Feel free to use uh, it for any uh, purpose you have. Thank you for watching.